Tis the season where colds are running rampant, but the stronger your immune system, the better you are at likely fighting off illness. After the break, oh yes, past the Kleenex. <laughs> We're with Dr. Thompson uh, about some great ways to boost your immune system. You know, we need that around here at Good Morning Arizona. She's in our open door green room and joins us in studio next. Good morning, Arizona. Beautiful view outside, uh, but you know, Sometimes in the office, it's not quite so pretty. If your workplace is anything like ours, everybody is coughing all over everything. Everybody's wiping those noses, and we are spreading the germs. Tis the season for colds and also flu, but you can keep yourself in good health by focusing on strengthening your immune system. Dr. Sharon Thompson is joining us with some great immune boosters this time of year, <laughs> and mostly it would be just keep your distance. That is absolutely the first one. <laughs> colds and flus are, are rife in this season, mm -hmm. in part because we're closed in. It's winter. Right. We're all close together, coughing and sneezing and rubbing on one another. So, you know, trying to avoid um, closed in spaces <laughs> if you can. And She's people really moving sneezing. away from me. I'm currently not sick. Dr. T, all come right, on well, now. Just in case. Yes, yeah. But hand yeah. sanitizer, hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer. Absolutely. What do we want to do to work on boosting our immune system? Because I think also the combination, mm -hmm. not only are these germs around, but we're also kind of run down and stressed right. out. Right. Exactly. And so instead of focusing on boosting your immune system, which there's no evidence that you can do, unfortunately, hate to break that bad news, you focus on staying healthy. Okay. Right? So you get enough rest. Yes. Make sure you're staying hydrated. And hydration is important for two reasons. One is because most of us get colds and flus through our mucous membranes, okay. our nose, our mouth, our eyes. So imagine if you, those tissues are ill already, they're mm -hmm. dry, they're desiccated because you're not well hydrated, mm -hmm. you're more likely to be susceptible to a virus. Okay. So Hydration is important for that reason. And then water for washing your hands. Ah, Keep those hands yes. clean. Wash the hands. And then you can also mix in the hand sanitizer, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And then places where you don't have a sink, mm -hmm. definitely hand sanitizer. When your colleagues start coughing and sneezing, spray them down. I know. Oh, my clean. goodness. Tell me about yeah. it. So when you're going in to see patients, you do the, you wash in and you wash out, right? I do. Okay. I do. Anyone who's been in our office knows there are uh, dispensers on the outside mm -hmm. and then when you get in the room, there are dispensers as well. Okay. So on the way in, you can clean your hands because doorknobs are a big culprit. Oh, yes. And spreading infection. Keyboards are a big culprit. So you can wipe down your work area. No offense to anybody at work when I come <laughs> in and wipe down my work surface. We make a big show of it every morning. Absolutely, because that's where viruses can live. So right. just those quick tips can help you stay healthy. Another quick tip is when you feel the first tingle of that right. cold coming on, your throat starts to feel funny. Just plain old salt and water. Ah. Get some warm water, mm -hmm. some salt, and just gargle. Mm -hmm. So you can do that a couple of times a day. Again, viruses get in your body through your mucous membrane. So if you make that a hostile environment, you're less likely to have that virus take hold. So start gargling immediately when you start feeling that first tingle. And, you know, you'll see everything on the internet about right. the immune system. We all have our own voodoo that works for us, right? right? Mine is vitamin C. Okay. So when I feel that first single, yes. gargle with salt water, vitamin C, vitamin C, vitamin C. And you can do it whatever form you oh, like. Yeah, there are these liquid are packets. Great. Mm -hmm. You can do some hydration along with the vitamin C. Or you can take pills if that works better for you. Orange juice can mm -hmm. work too. So those things can help you avoid having that virus take hold. Well, it feels good to feel like you're doing something. Whether it really works or not, I mean, I'm a sucker for yeah. it all. The echinacea, the zinc, yeah. the... And zinc, some, some mm -hmm. folks will add and... Give it a try. Uh -huh. I always say suppress the symptoms if you can't do anything <laughs> else. But those prevention methods, washing mm -hmm. your hands, when you blow your nose either or sneeze in yes. your elbow or in a tissue that you then throw away, okay. right? Those are measures that can help you avoid that infection. Get your flu shot. Flu shots work and they can help prevent uh, severe infections. And sometimes for, uh, I always have something kind of bronchial that will go on usually. Mm -hmm. And it can be tough to, you know, tell whether that is mm -hmm. pollution out in the air or whether you're really sick and you really sure. need to to see a doctor? Most uh, colds uh, will go away, the simple cold will go away in about seven days. Okay. So if you're sick longer than seven days or you're getting fevers, 101, 102, that's not normal. Mm -hmm. So definitely go in and see your doctor okay. if that's going on. Well, Dr. Yeah. Thompson, thank you so much. You're welcome. Health and wellness to you exactly. continued on into 2019. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. We're going to drink some water during the break and I might as well just mooch one of those vitamin C's off of you. Why not? <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>